Hey Deckers, I've got a very exciting game to demo to you today. This is Time Melters. This is a pre-release demo. This is not even going to be on the, the Steam Store as a demo until the 3rd of October. Auto Exec Games has very kindly given us early access to this one so that we can give it a go because we've been following this game for so long and I'm really geeking out a bit over this one. So apologies in advance. But this is combining real-time strategy, magic, and time manipulation all in one game. What these guys have produced is just absolutely epic. Okay, so down to the Steam Deck side of things. Unfortunately, this is struggling to hold 30 frames per second, although it doesn't have an official status just yet. It is playable, but whether this actually gets marked as playable or verified is yet to be seen. As you can see here, I'm running the vegetation quality on low, and in the demo version, the shadow and sky only go down to normal. So even at 60 hertz, it's struggling to hold 30 solid here, although you don't really notice those frame drops that much in game because there's just so much going on. Now, the control schema is keyboard and mouse locked, but I have made a community layout called Steam Deck Keyboard and Mouse VM here as I've updated the radial menus to the virtual menus that I've just released as well, which makes playing this much, much simpler now. The Short demo single player is actually not that short, so bear that in mind as it is quite challenging. And they've also shipped with a whole bunch of challenge modes as well. And you can even play this co-op online if you can get your friends to join you on the demo as well. So really going all out for the Steam Next demo coming up. So do keep your eye out for this one. The full release is on the 12th of October. So let's dive into the gameplay a bit more. You are essentially a witch and you have some magical powers and you start off with three big spells to be able to not only douse your enemies but also try and stop them in their tracks, control trees to slow people down and attack them, and you have to manage the waves of hordes. Now the time manipulation aspect is you can rewind time and you can teleport back to a certain point for a given amount of times and start a second time stream. So you're going to have to manage all of the channels so that your second streams coexist and work together as if you make some time distortion where you basically overlap on the time streams then you need to make sure that you get back to certain points you get this great overview section where you can go in not just the strategy mode this is flying above the area so that you can get to points a little bit more quickly than you could on foot to get those spells to try and cut those hordes down in their tracks. Now the teleport does trigger automatically just before you die, so you do get a chance to redeem yourself. And the rewind time at the moment seems to be limited to three time streams. So you get three attempts on a single go to try and manipulate your way to saving the day. As I said, I'm really excited to see how this one progresses. I will warn you that this is not one of the easiest games to either grasp the main concept or to actually master this is a very difficult game so it will take you a bit of getting used to but i do love the challenge of these real-time strategies so i'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here without me talking so you can get a better feel for the gameplay and performance let us know if you're going to dive into this one i can't wait for the full release thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video